Hello friends, Tanya here for Spellbinders. Today I am playing with a couple of dyes, the Layered Cherry Blossoms and the Half Slimline Diamond die set. Now this Half Slimline die creates a cover plate that will cover a die, excuse me, a slimline card and it has two words here plant joy and the die has two pieces now this is the layered cherry blossoms die set each of these groupings of dies will cut out a single flower we've got a branch several leaves and some insides of the flowers this is part of the layered floor bouquet collection i think that is from becca feacon she does such beautiful detailed dies and here i've die cut all of the half slimline diamond dies this is what they look like when you use the detailed die with the outline and the two words and then these are all of the layered cherry blossoms here are the completed flowers I've ink blended on them and adhered them together and I did use this guide that they uh, have on the Spellbinder set. It shows you which dyes you use to create which flowers and you can print that off right from the Spellbinder's website. We're going to start with a background. I did cut out a piece of pattern paper that is three and a half by eight and a half inches long and we're going to adhere this beautiful half slimline diamond cover to the white or excuse me to the yellow pattern paper here i wanted to go with that glowing spring sunrise look here now these will fit exactly on this three and a half by eight and a half inch piece of uh, pattern paper and i'm just adding glue to the outline and then dabbing it in a few strategic places in all of those beautiful scrolls um, throughout this piece. This would be gorgeous in so many colors. Can you imagine in a, a gray to depict more of a wrought iron fence or um, wrought iron design of some kind? Oh, that would be gorgeous. I prefer to start with white it's like the blank canvas and it really helps get my creativity flowing and when I'm using new dies I often will just die cut them to play with them and see how they work together and how many ways I can combine them now to add a little extra dimension to our die cuts I'm using some distress ink to add some blending to them I've got some I think that's walnut stain that I'm using here to <clears throat> color our branches and we're going to as you see there's three branches that you can create a variety of configurations on your finished product um, I'm going to adhere the the cardstock panel that I've started right to my slimline card base because if I need to add a little weight here to make things stick it's nice to do that plus I don't want to have to move things once I've got my layout planned. So I'm laying out these different branches, deciding where I think I want them. And you can turn these the other way if you want. You can have them curving more outward. And we're going to just tuck that at the base of one of those diamonds. And we'll add a little glue to the back of each of these pieces and decide where you want them. I want these flowers to be spread fairly evenly across the front of this card. I don't even know what I'm going to use this card for yet. Plant Joy is the sentiment that I'm going to use. And it could be a thank you card. It could be thanking your mom for planting joy in your life, especially if you have a gardening or flower loving mom. It could be just a encouragement card. It could be so many things. I really, really love these cherry blossoms. I was quite drawn to them. One of these days, I'm going to make it out to the East Coast to see the cherry blossoms blooming there. Although I imagine it looks similar to the cherry blossoms here without all of the grand architecture. 
Minnesota is not known for grand architecture. We're just a little bit too new of a state, I think. We are going to add a little bit of, um, I don't remember what color that was. I'll have to go back and look. I used some distress ink that might be crackling campfire <clears throat> to add a little color to the uh, peachy orange um, dyes that I used and we're going to adhere these according to that plan. You see how there were three petals for this partially open petal. You've got the three petal base and then two individual petals and the little is that a called a calyx? I think it's called a calyx, the little green part that's at the base of a flower. And that's added to the bottom. And I just tipped those out uh, closer petals towards us a little bit, bent them a little bit. So now I'm going to add ink to the four piece petals. So we've got our two petal piece or the piece that has, it's almost heart shaped. And we're going to take that little tiny sliver of a petal and line the right side of it and then the uh, larger one that's curving so it would fit on the left side we're going to glue that right to the edge of that and the more oval piece we're going to add to the middle overlapping all three of the pieces and we're going to use that calyx again it is the same calyx for all of them you just have to cut it out multiple times and there is the next one and now this one is more of a bud there's only two pieces here I'm going to ink blend those and then I'm going to adhere them together just with a dot of glue at the base and there is our little bud we'll add our little calyx on that one and that bud is complete those these flowers really do not take a lot of time to complete for the fully open one, I'm going to add ink right in the center. I am going to add a little ink to the um, yellow, the stamens, the center of the flower. It wasn't as deep a yellow as I wanted, and I wanted it to be a little more splotchy, for lack of a better word. I wanted more color variation on it. So just a dot of glue in the center after I have pressed that down so it cups a little bit both the stamen center and the flower and then you uh, just pop that right on there. We're going to add some leaves to some of these flowers here. I am going to bend them in the middle um, each of them just to give them a little extra dimension. I think that adds a little more life to your die cut flowers. Um, and these little touches can make all the difference in how well this comes together. I just adore the way uh, all of the shaping helps make things look more lifelike. We're going to add a couple of leaves to each of these fully opened flowers. And then we can stick some leaves in some other places at the bases at some of the of the... At, hmm at the bases of some of the other flowers. Now, when I was assembling these flowers, I was just dropping them right onto the card front and not worrying about where they were. I was just kind of guessing where I might want them. And by tossing them right onto the card base, it was helping me determine if I had enough flowers created to fill my card the way I wanted to fill it. Now I'm just fussing around a little bit changing my placement and ultimately I think I might end up going back with the original placement I had but there's so many ways you could do this. You could even have multiple different colors of flowers on here. I mean it's a card. It doesn't have to look like real life and sometimes there's variation in color on your plants on a real plant. Now we're just going to add a dab of glue behind each of the flowers and then adhere them to the card front. This is coming together quite quickly. I um, am quite happy with this card. The pattern paper I had was left over from um, what I had cut from a 12 by 12 pattern paper that I made into a envelope for a, I think it was for a mini slimline card. Sometimes you have these large scraps that you can definitely do lots of things with. And I just happened to have it laying by my my uh, my trimmer 
and wanted to go ahead and add that to this card front because it matches that peachy orange beautiful the flowers it matches those flowers beautifully now i did take a piece of uh, cardstock or coaster blank i'm not sure which that might have been coaster blank and and added that behind each of these words to give them a little extra dimension they needed a little more lift to make them stand out with all of the dimension from those flowers so we're just going to use our barely art precision glue add that to the layer that goes behind the word and glue those down and then we'll add the precision glue again <clears throat> I do love the reverse tweezers for helping get rid of any of the paper crumbs, say, so to speak, the little pieces that hang off and for getting glue out of where you don't want it. And um, with this mirror cardstock, if you take a very lightly damp cloth, you can remove some of the adhesive from the outside of the word if you get a little sloppy. And sometimes I do. It's, it's hard. Even with the precision tip, you can get a little too much. I have found that dabbing the glue onto the back of your hand before you adhere it does help eliminate, eliminate some of that glue squish, squishage. Is that a word? The squishing of the glue that ends up on the front of your die cut where you don't want it. I love that there is just naturally a spot right in the middle of that card for your sentiment, right where that diamond is the widest and here I am shaping a few more leaves to add to our beautiful cherry blossom branch you could really go wild with all of those leaves I don't know if I used all of them but adding leaves gives you a fuller appearance to your bouquet greenery should make up a good chunk of a bouquet this I guess isn't really a bouquet it's a branch of cherry blossoms and I hope that you are as in love with those cherry blossoms as I am. There's so many colors you could use. Traditionally, I believe they're more of a white with pink tinge. But I thought I would go with this lovely peach color today. <clears throat> that is the entire card. I'm not even going to put embellishments on it. Can you believe it? Let me know what you enjoyed about this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please take a moment to do that now. It always helps if you leave a comment, like a video, and if you subscribe, you can always see what I'm making. If you're interested in any of the product I use today, check that description box below. And until next time, here's a couple more videos I thought you might enjoy. Bye-bye.